Hey everybody, it's Alan with Bobcat. So picking back up on this thread, uh, with our four axis standard, you get indexing, wrapping, and rotary. So I want to show you how the indexing works. Uh, you know, we have our model set up, we have our machine set up at this point. Um, one of the things that I do is I'll use uh, the stock wizard to generate a bounding box, and then I'll use a three point method to create um, user coordinate systems for each of the faces that I want to machine to. Okay, so what, why we're going to do that is we're going to load in our, our roughing toolpath here uh, to rough out this part. So we're going to load in our index system and then when we reselect our index system we can pick this from the index systems that we've created. Okay, so this is number one and then from here we're going to load a three axis routine we're going to go ahead and select all our geometry here. We don't need a boundary. We're going to do an advanced rough routine. Uh, we'll set up what our tool size is. We're going to set up what our um, our depth of cut is, what our uh, step over is, what our step up is, uh, how much stock for finish, our cutting tolerance. The other thing that we want to do is we want to uh, define top and bottom of job. We don't want it to cut the whole thing. We want it to um, we want it to start and finish at a certain level. So let's say minus uh, 375. Let's compute that and see where that ends up. Okay. So the idea here is for it to rough, uh, rough out the material. I want to step this down a little bit deeper. So we'll just go back to our parameters. We'll say minus 675. Okay. So now, um, and, and that's fine for this example, you can always uh, adjust how far you want it to go down. But uh, all right, so we have our first routine done. Now what we're going to do is load in an additional index. And then again, because we've set up these uh, coordinate systems, I can pick number two. Uh, that will index to that face. And then now I can just copy and paste this feature reselect my geometry spacebar, go ahead and compute, and then now I'm computing with the same settings um, for this uh, setup. Okay, so now I can repeat that process for the next one. Again, we just load in uh, index system. This one's gonna be number uh, three, and then I'll load in another one, index system, reselect. This one's gonna be a number four. You know, and then from here, I'm just going to uh, copy this strategy, and then I'm going to paste it, and then I'm going to paste it. I'll reselect my geometry, reselect my geometry, okay, and then we can compute, that will compute that one, and then we can compute, and that will compute that one. Okay, so now we have index rough, index rough, index rough. Okay, so now we have all our indexes. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to load another setup here. Uh, we'll do uh, insert setup. This one, we're, again, we're going to load our uh, rotary tool path. So that gives us our rotary. We're going to select all. Next. Okay. Um, we have our tool that we're going to use. All right, next, again, we want to run a loan. We can add a side shift. We can say zigzag, you know, and what we want to do from here is step down, step over tolerances, um, start and end. And, you know, what the start and end is going to do is force where the tool starts from and force where it ends from. Uh, if we don't use either of those, we're, what's going to happen is we're going to get a rollover. It's going to roll over the edge and uh, we may not want that or, or we may want it. It just depends. But uh, most of the time you're going to use uh, start and stop in order to tell it how far to go. But again, now uh, I, let me add my lead. So we'll do lead and we'll say parallel, uh, compute. So now we've roughed it out in three axis and then we're coming back to, uh, to finish it. So I'll leave you with the simulation on this one and then we'll pick up the multi-axis tool pass in the next routine.